disposal. We can actually hasten the natural process of biological decomposition and turn all of this so-called waste into a valuable resource. Just six weeks ago, at this very spot, there was a huge pile of organic material, branches, lawn clippings, and leaves. But rather than haul it away to a landfill, the grounds department at this housing complex transformed that pile into this mound of rich humus. They accomplished this by using a technique called composting. We define composting simply as managed biological decomposition. We monitor and manage the process so that the materials decompose quickly. As you might guess, there is a science to composting, and in this program we're going to take a close look at this science. We will learn how a pile of so-called waste can be transformed into a rich and valuable resource. Okay, again, compost is, is, a, is a finished humus product, so we market it as the finished humus product or an organic soil amendment that competes directly with the raw. Uh, one ton of our finished compost will compete directly with three tons to five tons of raw manure. It will replace that much more efficiently because, again, it's in a stable, humic form. The humic particles here that stick to my hands are the gums, gels, and resins that help bind the soil particles together in sandy soils and help open up the soil particles together for the clay soils and allow water to enter. So it's a much more stable material. Uh, we market it in that effect as that it is an organic matter material that is finished. It's pre-digested. This is what nature would do before it would enter the ground. We've done it artificially, controlled its environment. It's teeming with billions of microorganisms that then will feed and, and release more nutrients in the soil. You remember that we began this program by talking about the science of biological decomposition. Obviously, without an understanding of this science, it's difficult to create a successful composting program. But as we begin to look at composting as a solution to some of the solid waste problems in our cities and institutions, we see that it takes more than just good science to develop a viable compost program. We also have to learn how to design composting systems on a large scale. How to collect the organic material, how to process it, how to distribute the finished humus, and how to do all of this economically. We invite you to watch the companion to this video. It's called Integrated Compost Systems where we build on the information presented in this program and look at how to design, implement, and operate effective compost systems on an institutional scale.